Hi there. We're now going to show you another really simple meat recipe. We're going to make mini meatballs for children, and kids love making these, and they're so simple, they take hardly any time to prepare. To start, we need 225 grams of lean steak mince, or eight ounces, one tablespoon of tomato ketchup, which is about 15 mils, and 75 grams, or three ounces, of frozen vegetables. The mixed variety is best, because they add color and flavor to the meatballs. So now to the method. Before you start mixing up your meatballs, you want to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark four. If you have a fan assisted oven, you might want to reduce the temperature by about 20 degrees. Also before we start, you should take a baking tray and line it with tin foil, shiny side up, and that will prevent the meatballs sticking to the tray. The first thing to do before making your meatballs is to cover your frozen vegetables with cling film, pierce the lid, and transfer to the microwave. Ideally, you want to cook the frozen vegetables for one to two minutes and then allow to cool before chopping really finely. So we have some here that I've made earlier and here they are. In a large bowl, take your mince and use your hands to break the mince up into smaller pieces. This is again important so that, that you can mix it well together. Into that, then add your one tablespoon of tomato ketchup. And then also add your mixed vegetables. This is a great bit for getting your hands dirty and getting children involved. But make sure that in advance they have their, ha their hands are cleaned and make sure that their hands are thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned after touching raw meat as well. So we're combining all the ingredients together. You could add seasoning before you mix it, but I'm not going to. We can always add seasoning at the end. I'm just gonna wash my hands before I shape them. This is a great way of getting children into cooking and getting them excited about using meat products. We'll then use a teaspoon. This is what we'll use as our measure of size for our meatballs. It's a great size for children and it's a good size. It's manageable for them to use with their little hands to shape into meatballs. So take about a teaspoonful of mixture and just in the palms of both your hands, roll lightly until you get semi-round meatball shapes. Place these on your baking tray and then continue until you've used all the mixture up. You should get about 24 meatballs from each recipe. So now we've formed all the meatballs into their shapes. Here we are. And they're ready to go in the oven. Now do remember, I've just done it, but remember to wash your hands once you've finished handling raw meat. That's especially important for little people. We'll cook these in the preheated oven at 180 degrees for 10 minutes until they're golden on the outside and they're, and they're firm to touch. So our mini meatballs have had about 10 minutes in the oven. So let's have a look at them and see how they've gotten on. So here are the meatballs, dark brown and golden in colour and firm to the touch, which shows us that they're cooked. We'll then set these aside. So these meatballs you can serve with pita breads and salad, which we're going to show you, or alternatively you could cook them in a tomato-based sauce and serve them with spaghetti. But here we have a plate I prepared earlier with a little bit of salad and some pita breads on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to stuff the meatballs into the pita breads. These have been ready sliced and opened. And just pack a couple of meatballs into the pita bread, like that. And the same amount in the other. Three is plenty. And there we are. So there we have mini meatballs for children. Grown-ups can have them too, but children love to make them.